It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Washington Commanders, and it kicks off next on Madden This building NFL holds just 24. north of 80,000, and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Washington Commanders. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier, and these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. So here are the commanders making their way out. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Operating from the gun, Daniels going right back to Dotson. And he's taken down inside the 30. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always going to talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact, but that's exactly what happens here. That can't continue as this game goes on. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Now a second and 10. Up the middle with Eckler. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. 
It's a pickup of 12 and a commander's first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Over the middle, brought in by Dodson. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice, substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. Didn't get the touchdown, but a big first down, and now they're six feet away from the end zone. And a little bit of momentum as well. To get down to the two-yard line, first and goal, playbook's open now, right? What do you want to call? You want to call power? You want to call quarterback run game? Do you want to throw the ball? The entire playbook is available for the play caller. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. Eckler again. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Commanders put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. McManus's point after is good, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Ken Adewagu now out of his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here's the Viking offense making their way out. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. And you'd think as a young QB, there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. Throwing to start the drive, McCarthy. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. 
Well, Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think but, you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense, and now as a defensive coordinator, You've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. A well-executed 22-yard game. Jones is hit. He lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs first time he touches the football and he drops it on the ground. So many times we talk about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow with safe throws, right? But with a runner, there is no such thing as a safe run, right? <laughs> right out of the gate, you're going to be admit, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't do that. And now, before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Operating from the gun. McCarthy. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 33. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. They go play action here on first down. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive come through with another one here and you have them staring at a third and long and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense so now second and ten after the incompletion on first down to throw again McCarthy forced out to his left and he can't find anywhere to go with it and he goes down Doritz Armstrong able to take him down it's a loss of three well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 21. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, on offense, I want their body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter. Second down and four. 
as they've got it as we resume action. Here's Jones again on second down. And he will score! Touchdown, Vikings! Aaron Jones, 15 yards. And the Vikings are an extra point away from evening this one up. Boy, two long, sustained drives by each team to start things out. It's kind of similar to how the pitch clock has shortened baseball games. That means we'll be out of here quickly if we get a few more drives like that. We're in the second quarter now, and we've only had one drive apiece, each of which have ended with touchdowns. Point after, right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the play. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. This is a counter play, Eckler. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Eckler going to get it again on second down. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. And the Vikings are going to beef up their secondary here. Six DBs on third. Looking to throw. Daniels. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big plays. Eat up chunks of yardage and cut down the number of times you have to snap the football. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Oh, 
Looking to throw on second down. McCarthy, that's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Jones. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a nice run to get himself back on the horse after his fumble. Nothing spectacular, but a good confidence-building run. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. McCarthy. This one finding the hands of Brandon Powell. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Here now, second and four. And inside give to Jones. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 55 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Off the play fake, McCarthy. This is caught by Addison. And he's brought down at the 19 after a gain of 19. First down in the red zone. And this is where play action can be so effective. Your running game's been the driving force on this possession. So as a defense, you start shifting your focus towards stopping the run. But if an offensive coordinator sees that, he can take advantage, and they get good yardage there. Running right, Jones. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. They've got to go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. Jefferson moving in motion left. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. To throw on second down, McCarthy. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw, McCarthy. No, bottled up, fumble. It's out, it's loose. And it's Washington that scoops it up. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, that's a down and distance coaches always talk about trying to avoid, isn't it? 
I mean, that's third and long, and you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him, sometimes even with extra pressure. And he, he knew that. I mean, he, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did, yet the pressure was still there, and he ended up coughing it up. Following the fumble recovery, Daniels. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him on balance. And he did. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 35 yards the game there. Another first down as well. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to have the football at their own one-yard line. Well, it certainly felt like he was going to challenge this defense no matter what. And he stepped up and tried to throw it to the outermost edge of the zone coverage. And they were more than ready for him. The problem now is if they are limited in what they're doing throwing the football, they got to figure out how to move it without being able to throw it to the outside and throw it downfield. The Vikings going to take over now late in this first half. But the good news for them, they got the football. The bad news, they have to go 99 yards here as they start this drive out on their own one-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That first down run could not have turned out worse for a defense because when they came out on the field, their number one mission, keep them stacked up close to their goal line and at worst, create great field position for their offense. A final shot before break. McCarthy going underneath. He's got Hawkinson. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have the show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 our score. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. We thought report. this one would be Coach. a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 our score. Nuwangu now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Out come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us certainly am I'm with you on that one and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level 
They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 82 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Off play action, McCarthy. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. He just had the feeling that sooner or later, someone was going to come up with that one play. Neither team has really done a whole lot offensively. But here's one that pays off to the tune of big yardage. And it's one that could maybe get this group in gear. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Off the play fake. McCarthy. His throw caught right around the six. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Now Jones. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Jones again. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Aaron Jones with his second touchdown of the night. And the Vikings have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14-7. to Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First possession of the second half now for Washington. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now, they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. Throwing on first down, Daniels. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. 
Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Now a play fake here on first down. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. To throw on second down, Daniels. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw, Daniels. That's to McCaffrey, complete. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play, and it'll be fourth down. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Vikings will take over here first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Now second and nine. Again, it's Jones. Yeah, he'll be stopped at about the 38 after a pickup of four. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. Here's third and six. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. This one swung out here to Jones. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. Back onto the field now, the commander's offense. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Give him 30 yards there. Uh, that's the kind of play this offense desperately needed. They've got to be saying, our defense has kept us in the ball game. We're down, but we're certainly not out. And maybe that was the spark that they've been searching for. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. A give, Eckler running to the right. 
He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and four. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Complete, it's Dodson. Seven yards there and a first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On first down, Daniels. Target is to Dodson and he's got him. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw, Daniels. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. And that is incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to wind up working out just fine as he'll have a Washington first down. And an exhale there as they convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. Eckler now between the tackles. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. It's interesting going into this game. There was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Back to throw. Daniels. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. 
from the left hash should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by McManus is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. bootleg McCarthy and he's got this to Jefferson and he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield that one goes for 24 yards well how about this aggressive approach got the lead fourth quarter continuing to throw the football are you thinking about Super Bowl 51 <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England just, and they ended up giving it up I was going to say don't say it but you did say it I did didn't I yeah anybody watching Atlanta our apologies and the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Looking to throw. McCarthy over the middle and complete to Addison. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth quarter lead. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Back to throw. McCarthy. Flush to his right. And that'll be incomplete with a penalty flag here on the field. And I'm not sure he was still behind the line when he let that thing go. So since that last play got nothing, they'll go ahead and decline the penalty. And that forces a fourth down situation. And here's Ryan right now as the drive goes backwards. So he's on to punt it away. First kick 47. This one looks good as well. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They started on the ground with Eckler. Fights through the middle, Crease. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 31 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. 
It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On second down, Eckler. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of the first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Running on first down, Eckler. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Looking to throw, Daniels. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. In the early days of the NFL, you could easily blame these drops on maybe some uneven or uncertain lighting in a stadium. Not anymore. The lights are pretty good. Yeah, they're great here at night, but his second drop indeed. Not a good look. They'll try again here. Second and ten. He'll get this out. Oh, no, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. A big play here, third and two. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they get five there on third and two. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That completion helps out in a nice way. Now they can take a little bit more time, but guess what? They've got to make sure on their throws that they see it open, not just anticipate it. They'll come up now on second down. Back to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is that right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver.
Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. They'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. Charles with a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. And normally you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game. But I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet. They've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play. Now they get a chance to finish this game off. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. To the touchdown. Here's McManus now to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So all eyes on this Vikings offense. Down by a field goal. A little under 50 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. signal for the first to their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. They'll come up first and ten here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. than 40 seconds remaining. Here comes second and 10. Back to throw. That's caught by Addison. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Back to throw again. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a good call there. That brings up fourth. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Too far for a field goal. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Completes it to power. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. 
is something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And he missed it. It's no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Uh, we so often think of these kickers as automatic at any distance, and it's just not the case because when you start talking about 50 plus yards, it's still a tough one to connect on. This one ends up no good, and that should put to rest any chance of this game getting to overtime. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. So it's Washington getting the victory here. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through. And they closed them out with a big-time performance down the stretch. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.